Hey guys, it's the Screen Team. We are back for a full hour of movie reviews, and we got a whole bunch to be doing for you this evening. We're going to be doing uh, Ben Hur a little bit later on this evening. Also, Sixty One, which is a baseball movie about Roger Maris and uh, uh, Mickey Mantle. Uh, we also got uh, the movie The Jetsons. The old cartoon. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be going on in our second half hour. But in our first half hour, we've got uh, Doug and Stacy here to review some movies. And um, Doug is not going to be doing this one for us today, right? Yeah, he he chickened out. (laughs) (laughs) Doug wanted to do um, I'm Going to Get You Sucker. He wanted to do Welcome to Mooseport. But when it comes to where the boys are he was like no i'm gonna i'm gonna pass on this he's one he's not finding out where the boys are <laughs> no he's not <laughs> he is not where the boys are is a movie back from 60s 1960 1960s and this is like one of those original kind of beach romantic yeah. kind of comedies you know like you would see with uh oh what's Frankie her name Avalon yes and annette Funicello. yes mm-hmm. man you read you read my mind yes yeah, so that's the basic kind of premise. We've got like a beach movie, but there's a lot more going on with this. In the very beginning of this movie, we see uh, the young lady who's the star of this film, and she is like, she's in a class, but she's kind of like this early kind of feminist. She's Yeah, yeah. She, she's she's into all these classes about, you know, how to be a lady and stuff like that, right? Right, right. It's a how women are supposed to behave kind of a class. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like they still have those. Probably should still have those. Um, and and she kind of gets in trouble by the teacher and sent to the dean because of what she had to say about how women should behave before they're married. Yeah. So she gets sent to the dean, and for some reason, the the school that they're in is very. They're, they're up north somewhere, aren't they? Like Chicago. Yeah, it's very very cold, very miserable, and the, snowy. The ladies, they're like, man, we need some sun. We need some sun in the worst way, so they decide to go to the nearest beach. Yeah. Um, where was that, On by their, the way? Uh, Fort you know? Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale, okay. And it was their spring vacation. Instead of spring break, as we would refer to it now, their spring vacation. Yeah. And it was interesting watching this movie because their their main purpose is to find boys. Where the, yeah. where are the boys at? Yeah. Where are they at? They're all yeah. over the place because they're looking for the girls. Yeah. Where, where are the girls at? Yeah. So we got this common... Uh, common thread guys looking for girls girls looking for guys and um and they're looking for love but they're all what i found really interesting about this film is a lot of the ladies were looking for love but they were also looking for a partner they were looking for yeah yeah they a were, future husband yeah yeah they it, they weren't looking for a hookup <laughs> no no hookups well one of them i think would have been okay she yeah. just needed her an ivy leaguer yeah. those that were important things to her he had to be in the ivy ivy league so didn't work out so well for her it was interesting because we see these girls and they're all very educated all very smart and the guys that were there were bumbling idiots man i felt like i felt like i was in this movie (laughs) it was crazy (laughs) who was the first guy what was his name the first guy that the guy who had all the hats well that was tv thompson (laughs) and and they gave him that name because he was going into television um and he was you know, like the one girl said, I never know what he's going to look like when he shows up, you know, because he had crazy hats and crazy outfits and and all kinds of stuff. And that's the thing, because she was very smart, very beautiful, way out of <clears throat> out of his league. Right. But yet they were somewhat of a match. She was just happy he had bigger feet than she did. <laughs> <laughs> so and, go ahead, Stacey. And, and the, the, the bumbling idiot, T.V. Thompson, actually is Timothy Hutton's dad. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So he was, it, Jim Hutton is his name, and yeah. he, that's Timothy Hutton's dad. So. Wow. Wow. Another little bit of uh, stuff that I didn't know was the, the main actress in this film. De- she, sister Dolores now. She, she's, she is, she's a sister. She's, yeah. she's like, she uh, left Hollywood to become a nun. Yeah, very, very cool, man. It's just it's interesting to see her in this role and then, you know, yeah. to see what she's become in a, in a new role, basically. Yeah. Um, George Hamilton is this, in this movie. And George Hamilton, good looking dude, man. Very good looking. Before he yeah. before he got all tan and stuff. Yeah, uh, he was. Yeah, I think he was starting that tan. Yeah. That probably that's probably the movie that started it all. <laughs> he probably like, got to Florida and decided, I like hey, this. Look. Yeah, I like never this. leaving. <laughs> he, good looking dude. He is the uh, the the love attraction to our our main uh, uh, actress in this film, and it's. What's up? Is he a good guy? He's kind of a pretty boy. He's yeah, rich. He's, What's he's his a, deal? He's a brown man. So from Brown <laughs> University. Nice. Question nice. mark. <laughs> um, 
and he's rich, completely loaded, you know, and he, he kind of woos her with, with his smarts and his money and, and his um, chivalry, I guess you could say. Yeah. You know, she kind of falls for him and he kind of falls for her. So yeah. I was, there was a lot of, um, deep subjects in this film for a 1960s movie. I was yeah. very, very surprised. There was, uh, <clears throat> one young lady who basically got sexually assaulted yeah, in, yeah. in one of the scenes, and they hit on that a lot in the film. And and I wanted to say too that although that was a topic on there, it's not something it's not something you actually see take place. You kind of see true. like what's going to happen, and then the after. So you know you don't have to worry about about having to watch something like right. that on there. Right. Very very true. But I was just surprised with all the you know adult themes. Like when I was watching this movie, it kind of reminded me of. Of movies we watch today, just not as scandalous and and you know what I mean. Yeah. It, it felt like an American Pie type film, or you know, one of these raunchy kind of comedies you see now, but without the raunchiness. It, right. It felt like it had those kind of elements, except for sure. The I mean, it's a you know? spring break movie, yeah. So or spring vacation <laughs> movie, um, and I don't think spring vacation turned into spring break. I mean, it hasn't always been MTV spring break. You know, yeah. wild. It started somewhere. Right. But, I mean, you could even tell, like, in this movie, um, TV's always carrying around this scanner. And he's trying to wait for something scandalous to happen. Yeah. You know, like a hammerhead shark has been thrown into the pool. <laughs> or, you know, there's one guy who they just keep arresting throughout the whole movie. And he's like, it's not that I drink more. I just drink all the time. <laughs> you know, so there's one in every group. Yeah. It's, they've just gotten a little more naked i guess <laughs> that's true um tell us where the boys are is it uh it's a movie you liked Did you i like love it? this movie i've seen it multiple times and i'll watch it again if it comes on <laughs> i like it it's it's got you know i i'm big into that whole the the color of the cinematography mm. you know the way the colors are presented and yeah. i really like that and, and I'll, I'll watch a movie like that anytime well very good uh who's gonna like this movie stacy who's this movie for oh I, it's not for Doug. We know that. Yeah, it's not for Doug. Um, I don't know. You have to like kind of the older movies. Yeah. I don't. I think everyone should watch it. I don't think anyone. I don't think it's boring by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. But I mean, I think everyone should try it. Okay. There you go. Review from Stacy of the movie Where the Boys Are. Where's Doug Anderson at? We're going to find him next when we review Welcome to Mooseport. It's coming your way on KWOC.